Well, now that the final four is over, we turn our attention to tomorrow's solar eclipse. It is important that if you are prepared, if you plan on watching that event, News 5's Nadine Obasado shows us what you need to know before heading out the door. In less than 24 hours, Northeast Ohio will experience a total solar eclipse for the first time in 200 years. That's where the moon will completely block the sun. So what will it be like? Will it be overcast like today? Or it's is it going to look dark. I mean, you're, you're blocking in the path of totality. The beauty is there is no sun. It'll be totally dark here. It'll begin around three in the afternoon and last about four minutes. But to see the event, you'll need solar eclipse glasses that are ISO 12312-2 approved to protect your eyes. You can get permanent damage to your eyes if you stare directly into the sun. The retina is like the film in the camera and unfortunately we don't have a replacement for it. So once you burn a hole through that film, it's done. Once you have your glasses, pick a spot to watch the event. Destination Cleveland says there's lots of options. There are a ton of events taking place around Northeast Ohio overall, right? Everything from if you want to be at the center line um, of totality in Avon Lake, all the way out to Geauga County at the uh, Great Geauga County Fairgrounds. Then there's, of course, everything downtown as well. And you want to make sure you get there early and also prepare for traffic when leaving. Well, we are anticipating that this is going to be a Browns game, a Guardians game, a St. Patrick's Day parade and a, a Cavs game all rolled into one. Check your city's websites for parking bans and street closures and make sure you pack your patience. Have a full tank of gas. Have food and water in your vehicle for your travels. And you can't forget your weather check. Our forecast looks to be this. Uh, clouds increase tonight with those rain shower potentials. Starting off cloudy tomorrow with maybe a couple of raindrops before 9, 10 o'clock and then those clouds slowly erode during the afternoon and into the evening. But the most important thing is to gather with those you love and simply enjoy the moment. It's something to be shared, something you'll remember the rest of your life. Because Northeast Ohio won't experience another total solar eclipse until 24 44. The solar eclipse is a once in a lifetime experience for Clevelanders at this point. Reporting in Cleveland, Nadina Busada, News 5.